Skateboarding is a sport, and like many sports, it requires a certain degree of skill, Pretty cool, huh? oh. experience, and training. Oh a fall on a skateboard can cause injury. Oh. The man is wounded. But injuries can be avoided. First of all, protective clothing should be worn by the skateboard rider. A skateboard rider should wear proper shoes. Oh. And he should wear clothing with adequate padding on his knees. And... Oh! Oh, you okay? Hips. Oh. Oh. Lower spine. Elbows. Oh. Are you? Are you, Jeff? I'm okay. And shoulders. A proper fitting helmet can be worn to protect your head. <gasps> oh, God! You may think wearing all of this protective clothing is going a bit too far. Protective clothing makes you more confident. And with confidence, you become better at your sport. The condition of the skateboarding service in which you're going to use should be your third concern. Skate on a clean, dry surface, free from obstacles and debris. Make sure that the surface is free from cracks and holes. After you have learned about the three basic safety precautions, you will want to learn something about the techniques in skateboard riding. Place one foot on the board, whichever foot feels most comfortable. While leaning with your weight slightly forward, push off with the other foot. Stride in a smooth, rhythmical manner, making sure that your push foot does not go beyond the front of the board. The shoulders are held perpendicular to the forward direction of the board. Turning in skateboarding is much the same as in surfing. Your weight is shifted from side to side, causing the board to turn. The knees bend in coordination with the hips to place your weight on different sides of the board. Turning requires space. Make sure that you skate in an area that is not crowded. A beginner should always have someone with experience teaching basic skills. No, no. I think uh, basically as far as safety, if you're a parent, teach them proper techniques of falling. Rolling, tumbling, anything that's going to teach the child on how to break their bones properly. Not with straight forearms that are going to break their bones, but with curved techniques that are going to break their bones. And... I think any kid should learn his limits. 
do his limits, not go beyond them. You realize your limits, you know, and skate within harmony of them. popularity of skateboarding has created a number of problems for the community. Therefore, skateboard safety training has become an important addition to our existing safety programs. One of the main problems is establishing places that are safe and practical for skateboards. Thank you. 